Kevin, obviously, everybody knows the news. How did you guys find out about it, and what? how do you keep it from being another distraction? Yeah, I mean, I found out, honestly, just like probably you guys. Uh, came and got some treatment up here, got home and seen the news. Obviously, I got a lot of love and respect for John Robinson, the guy who drafted me out of Middle Tennessee State. Um, you know, that decision right there changed my life, my family's life, and the whole trajectory of my family. So I got a lot of love for John and respect. Um, but obviously, in this business, you know, Amy is our owner. You know, she made a decision. And as players and as an organization, we have to respect that decision that she made to move on from John. Um, but at this point, you know, especially talking about today and this week, as players, we have a job to do. And as coaches, we have a job to do. And that's to go out here and put our best foot forward and attack this day and prepare for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, everything that we want to accomplish and that we set to accomplish this year during the offseason training camp is still right in front of us to go out there and win a division and make a run in this playoff and try to go win a championship. Um, so that doesn't change. That's not going to change at all. So my main focus this week is to go out there and study as much as I can to prepare for a Jacksonville team who may be 4-8, and eight, but I think out of their six losses, it's a one-point game. So they're a really good team, so we have to make sure we're preparing for them as much as possible and not let, you know, any of this, you know, this news and any outside distraction uh, deter us from our goal. You Mike, said that he conveyed, Mike said that he conveyed a message from John to you guys. What, what was that? I mean, pretty much what I said, just make sure that, you know, don't let this uh, be a distraction. Uh, try to go out and go win a football game. Uh, I, I, I shot John a text yesterday when I found out about everything. But yeah, he just wanted us to make sure that, you know, as me personally, just continue to lead. And, and like I said, don't let the news, you know, become a distraction. I'm moving at magnitude. Like what type of message does that send to you guys in the locker room? Um, you know how sometimes like you change a quarterback and you get that spark? Nah, exactly. This is a GM, you know? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, nothing's really changed. I mean, I don't, as of right now, I can't say or not, but I mean, I'm still going to have the same guys out there on defense. Obviously, have some injuries and stuff like that. But, um, you know, like I said, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, these decisions, it's tough. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't want to see the guy who drafted me get fired or whatever, but it is what it is. We got to respect that decision. So, um, like I said, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm doing the best I can as a leader uh, to just not let it be a distraction. Like when we get to talking about this conversation, that conversation, like, hey, we got the Jaguars this week. Bottom line, we got to find a way to get an 85. Seems to suggest a raising of the bar, maybe. Uh, you know, division wins have been nice playoffs. Yeah, right, right. But she said the roster construction, she aspires to be better. Is that maybe a carryover message that hey? We're good. We win the division. We've consistently been in the playoffs, but it sounds like she wants more. Yeah, I mean, and it's understandable. Uh, I want to win the championship, my damn self. Um, and so, if, if that's how she feels, she feels like the roster isn't where it needs to be, and she needs to move on. Then I respect that. You know, um, obviously, you know, I have a lot of love for the guys in this locker room today, and uh, I feel the same way that I felt, you know, in the beginning of the season that we can make a championship run with the team that we have. Obviously, we've had injuries. We have new guys come on the team and things like that. Um, but, you know, the performance that we put out there in Philadelphia wasn't up to par. Um, I'm pretty sure that, you know, she's, you know, probably not happy with that. And maybe some other performers, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, she made a decision, so that is what it is. But, uh, like you said, we're still uh, in, a, in a great situation when you kind of look at it from a big picture vision. Um, that, like I said, we can still win our division. Uh, we can still host a playoff game. We can still make a run. So that's the only thing I can focus on, just focus on that. And I'll focus on, you know, what may be coming from that, that decision or focus on any negative. I can only focus on what's right in front of me. Kevin, since the day after the Green Bay game, there, there have been distractions. Uh, have, you, have you seen that seep in at all? And are you concerned about that, people continuing to talk about things like that rather than focus on the task? I'm not focused on it. Uh, I'm not concerned about it because it's, it's always going to be noise, rather if it's good or bad. Uh, you have to ignore all the noise. Um, obviously, losing two straight uh, against some really good uh, football teams um, isn't something that we want to do as a team and an organization. But we've lost two games before, uh, most notable, obviously, in the beginning of the season. But like I said, um, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars coming this week. And uh, we have to find a way to get this thing turned around. Same thing I said in the locker room. Uh, we can't afford to drop any more games like that. So, um, like you said, all, all the stuff that's going on around this organization, uh, we can't allow that to affect this locker room. Because at the end of the day, this is a business. You know, we're football players. We got a job to do. Like, who cares about, you know, what, what can happen next year or 
you know, with, with the direction that the owner's trying to go at the end of the day, we all got a job to do. And it's going to get evaluated every single day when they cut the film on it. Practice when they cut the film on the game day. So my responsibility and our responsibility is, is trying to put the best things on that film. And so if you try to focus on anything else, you know, it's bad shape. Most important things uh, J. Rob did for the franchise. Do you think, Kevin, you guys kind of came in, obviously, about the same time? What were some of the most important things he did? Well, I just think that he kind of set a tone and uh, as far as the players that he brought in. Obviously, uh, you know, start with my draft class, the guys that he's brought in. Um, and I just think just his leadership uh, and more, most important just for me personally, just him as a person, him and his wife. Uh, they're, you know, his wife and my wife are close. Um, he's just a great person and just the conversations I have with him, like he's just a great person. But like I said, as an organization, uh, we can look at, you know, obviously Amy wanting to have, you know, more aspirations for this team or roster, whatever it may be. Uh, but I do think about, you know, all the positive he's done as far as bringing certain guys here and, and kind of help change the culture with him and Mike Vrabel. Uh, not having a losing season uh, is pretty great. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, we're not in this thing just to go to the playoffs. We're not in this thing just to win the division. We're in this thing to go win the Super Bowl. So uh, something that we still haven't done yet, something that I, I aspire to myself. So, uh, like I said, I respect the owner's decision to do what she did. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go beat Jacksonville. I don't feel like it's just affecting us right now. Um, you know, like I reached out to J-Rob, and I, I know it's not just affecting him, it's affecting his family as well. But at the same time, we all have a job to do. Um, and just like he told me when I talked to him, go win the freaking game. So our job is to keep and find a way to win the game. So I don't, like I said, the emotion should be, might be there for a lot of guys, but you know, we can't let that get in the way of all goal. And that's, um, and I'm sure Jay Wild, Jay Robert wanted the same thing. You know, like he's told me, go find a way to get a win. So, like I said, our job, um, especially as leaders, as um, these guys on this team, is to find a way to beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. Amy kind of indicated. Games, like, week by week, you know, the roster's churning, but it's not often the GM gets, gets moved. Like, what, how do you take that? Like, what message does that send to, to you guys here? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, my, I do your job. Um, I mean, our job is to play football, and that's the only thing I can. The only thing I can control right now is the way I approach my job. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the ends and outs of the reason why it happened to him. I can't speak on that. So my job is to how can Jefferson do his job so he can make sure he work where he's supposed to be. Um, so I think, like I said, when it come down to that, we all have to just do our job and. Um, I mean, that's all we control, and then that's what we need to be focused on. Jeff, Amy kind of indicated in her statement yesterday that, you know, I'm paraphrasing here, but it's kind of like, you know, just winning the division and making the playoffs is not enough. We need to take that next step. And that may or may not have been part of why this decision was made. Do you feel that amongst you guys in this locker room that, you know, that next step needs to be taken in terms of? I mean, yeah, and then that's start off with winning games. Uh, we have to win this Sunday. I mean, if we don't win games, we can't get to that big dance. And that's, uh, that's don't, I, I mean, like I said, I can't control what they do upstairs. I, I don't know what's going on upstairs. I've never been upstairs. Like I said, what I can control is my leadership, the way I approach each and every day, and the way I try to lead this team. And um, like I said, we in this locker room got to win, we got to do better. And like I said, I, I don't want to be rude, but I, I don't really want to keep talking about this. Um, this J. Rob situation, you know, I'm focused on trying to, you know, um, help this team get a win this weekend. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but that's kind of what I'm focused on. Like I said, I, I don't know the ends or not about this firing, but my job is to help keep this team locked in. And I mean, especially on the defensive side, because we have to play better. We have to, um, especially this weekend, stop um, that good quarterback they have, a good running back, and like I said, we have to make more plays. So that's kind of what I'm focused on. And keep trying to improve. Um, every everything can every improvement is a good improvement, and we'll take that. So um, just make sure that we just end up end the week one and zero. Speaking of improvement, I mean I know you haven't played them yet, but how mm -hmm. much has Jacksonville improved from the start of the season to where they are now? Oh, they improved a lot. I mean they got a lot of young guys who you know are flying around out there. They got a lot of fast guys, and you know we just got to make sure that we can um, be physical with them, and then make sure we show up when we got to show up. Um, good quarterback. He can make all the throws. Um, I think he's he's way better than he is uh, last year. Um, also, the situation he was in last year is a little different too. So um, he can make all the throws, and he also give you some chances too.
Do you appreciate John kind of giving you guys a, a final message there, and, and you know, sort of what uh, what was it, sort of the gist of it? I guess yeah. try, try to focus as best you can. Is that um, his, his, his main thing to me and for the team was to go out there and you know keep keep winning and keep trying to improve. Um, I mean, that's that's what we expect from John. No matter what happened, he was always going to be a you know a top top notch guy, and that's what he's been. Does this whole move, you know, I guess send a message is the phrase that comes to mind when when a GM gets let go mm -hmm. 12 games into the season. Does that message kind of resonate? You know, with players and in the locker room. I think so. I think I think guys, you know, see that it started up top. That means it could easily be anyone in here. So you know, guys just got to make sure that we're preparing, uh, make sure that you're improving and helping the team win. Was everybody kind of shocked, or did you kind of see it coming? Um, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure everyone was pretty shocked, especially you know where we're standing at and then the time of the year it is right now. So, um, but like I said before, it's part of the business, and we just got to make sure we just prepare this week to win. How important is it to keep the outside noise, everything kind of outside of the game, outside as you prepare? for the Jaguars? Uh, very important. You don't want to mess up you know, any chemistry that we have going. You don't want pointing fingers or nothing like that. And we all just got to own it and understand that you know our position has to be better. Certain positions have to be better as well. Thank you. What did he do most? You know, I know he re-signed you, John did, mm -hmm. but what, you know, when when you think of what he did over the years, what what are some things that first come to mind? I, I think he was just involved. Um, I always see him at practice. You know, always hearing him at practice. You know, I'm not just he's not just in the background in the skybox just watching. Like he's he's involved. Um, he's hands on, kind of how Rabel is hands on coaching. Um, and then just being a, pe uh, a players, a player, people person. You know, I mean, he cared about you. He cared about what you had going on in your in your life.